Hey traders, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna talk about how you can write your own PyScript code for detecting the inside bar candlestick pattern. And also we're gonna add a confluence of or bought and oversold conditions so that we get more relevant and high probability signals. And this indicator will detect the bearish inside bar and the bullish inside bar onto the chart and show you in real time what candlestick pattern is forming in the market so now without any further ado let's get started with coding so before we get into the coding let's go ahead and differentiate between the bullish and bearish inside bar or even the inside bar candlestick what it is so inside bar candlestick pattern is one in which there are two candles the first candle is a mother candle and the second candle we can call it the baby candle now as the word suggests it's an inside bar candlestick pattern so in the inside bar candlestick pattern the first candle is bigger and the sec latest candle is smaller and the latest candles high is lower than the previous candles high and the latest candles low is higher than the previous candles low so as you can see this candle this latest candle is forming inside the range of this previous candle and that's why we call it inside bar candlestick and the psychology behind trading these inside bar candlestick patterns is that once this candlestick pattern is formed we look for the breakout of the highs and lows of this mother candle if the market breaks out in this direction then it's possibly uh, going to be in the bullish direction and if the breakout happens in the lower direction in the bearish direction then it's probably going to go in the bearish direction now once this is clear let's go ahead and get started with coding the inside bar candlestick pattern for detection on the chart so first thing first we're going to go ahead and take inputs that we are going to need and the inputs that we're going to need are the rsi period the or bought level the or sold level and the rsi source and then we're going to calculate the rsi so let me just go ahead and uh, explain one line by line what is happening in the code and also let me just increase the zoom level so here we can see the first input is the rsi period which has a default value of 14 and the second one is the overbought level which is above 70 so whenever the rsi is above 70 we will say the market is oversold you can change these levels inside the indicator as well let me just remove this and the third input is oversold level in which we are defining the default value at 30 then we have the rsi source which is closed and then we are calculating the rsi using these variables the rsi period and the rsi source now let's go ahead and define the conditions for finding the inside bar candle and the conditions are if the candle is inside bar if the low of the latest candle is higher than the low of the previous candle and also if the high of the latest candle is smaller than the high of previous candle this is exactly what we had drawn in our explanation that the low of this latest candle is higher than the low of this previous candle and the high of this latest candle is lower than the low of this previous candle so once our conditions are defined we can go ahead and start to differentiate between the bullish and bearish inside bar candlestick patterns and the code for doing that is here in this first the candle should be inside bar and secondly we want the previous candle or the mother candle to be green and the inside candle to be red in case of bullish inside bar candlestick pattern similarly we want uh, for the bearish inside bar candlestick pattern first we want the candlestick pattern to be inside bar and secondly we want the mother candle to be bearish and the latest candle to be bullish or green in nature only then it will be called a bearish inside bar candlestick pattern and now once our conditions are done are defined we can go ahead and plot 
the inside bar candlesticks onto the chart and we are gonna use the if condition to make sure first the candlestick pattern is the bullish inside bar and the rsi is oversold which means the rsi value is below 30 because only then this candlestick pattern works out, out pretty well in the market and now let me just go ahead and save this and let me open the charts and now let me just go ahead and add this indicator onto the chart so here you can see the indicator is drawing the labels for where it finds the inside bar candlestick patterns as you can see the previous candle is green the latest candle is red and also the high of this latest candle is below the high of this previous candle and low of this latest candle is above the low of this previous candle and it is also showing us the rsi value because inside this definition of this label we have defined the string value to be bullish inside bar and we have given it the rsi value and we have converted this rsi value to string using this str to string function and then we are giving this decimal operator so that we make sure that we are getting the value up to two decimal places so this is how we plot the bullish inside bar candlestick pattern onto the chart now let's go ahead and in the similar manner plot the bearish inside bar only difference will be the conditions in which these two conditions that is bearish inside bar and is RSI above 70 that means is the market overbought only then we want to detect the bearish inside bar casting pattern and now let me just go ahead and save it and now let's go ahead and check onto the charts if there is formation of any bearish inside bar casting pattern and here you can see there is the formation of this bearish inside bar in which the mother candle is bearish in nature and the latest candle or the baby candle is bull bullish in nature and the high of this latest candle is below the high of this previous candle and the high of this uh, and low of this latest candle is above the low of this previous candle so that's how you can make your own inside bar candlestick pattern indicator and you can also add bunch of other modifications or add any other confluences that you want to if you would like to get my services related to pine script which include converting any of your previous code like metatrader 4 things script to trading view pine script or if you want to build your indicator or strategy from scratch you can get my services by visiting the link in the description and you can fill up the contact form and i'll be happy to reach out to you and discuss further discuss with you further about your requirements i hope you like this video if you have any questions please comment down below i would love to answer them also don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video